Hey YouTube, I bought a car! And no, I'm not talking about this one. I bought that too, but that's a different project. It, uh, it needs a little work. It needs a little loving. But, uh, yeah, just a little project car that I'm gonna fix up. And, uh, yeah. But I want to talk to you about a different car that I bought. It's not here right now. But, yeah, there's, there's a reason for that. So, I bought it on eBay. And this car broke down on me. And, you know, it's, it sucks. I, I, I bought the car knowing that it was risky. I didn't, however, expect the car to break down within six miles. Um, so I bought myself a 2011 BMW 335 diesel. And I've been wanting a 335 diesel for a while, actually, since before I bought my Fusion. But I wanted something that I could flat tow behind my RV, and the 335 diesel you can't flat tow. So, I bought the Fusion. I've actually been considering selling my 2014 Ford Fusion Hybrid that I set up to flat tow behind my RV. I only towed it once, and then my job position changed, and I've just kind of been not moving as much like I thought that I would, and so I really haven't been using it like I originally intended, so thinking about selling it. Yeah, it's been a great car for me, but I've always kind of still wanted the 335 diesel, and so I saw one on eBay the other night, late at night, and it was a good price. The listing looked great. The seller has great, you know, 100% positive reviews, and their dealership online has great reviews as well. Like, really good reviews. Like, I don't know, four and a half stars with a couple hundred reviews. So, I mean, that's that's really good for a dealership. They, you know, obviously have to be pretty legit to, to have that kind of reviews. But this car, <laughs> uh, it, it broke down in six miles. It basically all of a sudden started feeling like the transmission was slipping. Well, this sucks. <laughs> just driving down the freeway, actually completely driving normal, just cruising at like 65 and this pops up. And it transmission starts slipping. So much for my good deal. I'm not feeling very good all of a sudden. So there is a problem in the transmission. Now I was able to shut the car off and restart it and it worked great for a while until it didn't again and this was a process that continued and continued and continued all the way well to my destination now <sighs> it, it's not a fun problem especially in stop and go if if you're going from an absolute stop sometimes the transmission will just decide to slip and yeah you don't have any real power um, at all like it it's scary like you don't think you're gonna be able to get going but I was lucky enough to to be able to keep going and then you know I'd pull off when I could shut the car off let it sit for not even that long like 30 seconds maybe and restart it and it would work just fine again um, also it one of the times that the the light came on, it downshifted into fourth gear, and then it felt fine in fourth gear, but then I slowed down, and first and second were just, like, slipping really bad, but... For a second there, I was thinking that my, it was my mind just saying that we had the transmission slipping, but no. I don't think that's my mind. Fourth gear felt fine, and I was driving it, you know, for you know, a couple miles or however long until I got off the freeway. Um, yeah. Not exactly a fun problem. I think that I know what the problem might be, but it just sucks to be dealing with a dealership that you think is legit and has great reviews. And, you know, I want to believe them. The, the, the salesman that I was dealing with actually said, you know, hey, I've, I've been driving this car around for a week. It drives great, ran great. I never had any issues with it, but... Huh. I'm, I'm a good judge of character, and this guy sounds super legit, but for it to mess up like that in six miles, 
and continue doing it my whole trip home. And I mean, I'm not hot rodding it. I was just driving down the freeway trying to get home. I mean, I'm, you know, two hours from my destination and yeah, two and a half. And I wanted to be able to get it all the way there and take care of the other problems and the other honeydew list stuff that I had that day. But no, it decided to extend my trip, make it longer, make me have to sit in more traffic and no fun. I've been in contact with the, the guy I bought the car from and... So I sent them this letter not knowing exactly how it would go. And honestly, so far it sounds like they will be more than fair. They are offering to tow the car up to their shop and replace the transmission with a used unit. I really hope it all goes smooth and that there aren't any future issues. It sucks to have to give them back the car and not have it for a while, but I really can't complain. When I get the car back, I have some maintenance I want to do and some issues that I have to address. After that, I have some modifications planned as well that should make this car even more fun. I'm just crossing my fingers that these next few weeks go smooth and I get the car back soon with a good working transmission. So hey, subscribe and follow along. Hopefully my next updates on the car are good, but we'll have to see. Please wish me luck. Hope you all have a great day. And I will talk to you later. Bye.